Good morning, guys. So we are in the middle of school. We just finished reading The Secret Garden, finally. And we did our Bible and journal and all of that kind of stuff. And the boys are working on their individual work. So today, we actually have a homeschool meetup at a park that we might go to. And it's funny because it was just the weekend. Well, the weekend. Adam's never off on an actual weekend, but... So the other day, the boys went to their Lego thing, and Garrett was talking with this one kid. They were having fun, hanging out, talking about everything. And so, today is this homeschool meetup at the park, and I had planned to go to it for a while. I finally went and looked at the mom's Facebook profile again, because I was like, oh, you know, just wanted to make sure I know who I'm meeting up with and all of that, so we can go say hi. And I looked at her profile... <laughs> And her kid is the kid that Garrett was playing with at Lego the other day. So, he's excited to go play with them again. I thought it was funny, like, small world, that it happened to be the same kid that we're going to meet up with. But anyway. I don't know what else we're doing today. We're going to get school done. Try to get done before lunch. That way, when we go, we're done for the day. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So we need to think of something easy for dinner, and I have no idea what I want. I don't know what sounds good. Last night we had, like, Adam cut up a roast and cooked it in the crock pot and gravy and stuff, and we had that with mashed potatoes and peas, and it was so good. Like, I love fall kind of foods. And it's finally not miserably hot outside, so we can eat some fall kind of foods. But yeah, we have leftovers of that. That'll probably be lunch for me and Adam at least. And then we'll see what the boys want. But Adam just went back to work today. He was off for a couple days. And we didn't do much. I'm trying to think of what we did. We did Lego. And then we took the boys to McDonald's because we had some points saved up. And we're, we were able to get a free Happy Meal. And they had wanted to go because right now they have Pokemon Happy Meals, even though they're too big for Happy Meals, so we have to get them a Happy Meal and then <laughs> extra food because it doesn't fill them up. But we did that. We watched some movies. What else did we do while Dad was off? Games. They played video games. But yeah, I went to, li to the la 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 library and got a big stack of books. And so yeah, we're just trying to figure out what all we're doing today and we'll see what we're gonna do for dinner love you where'd you go? <laughs> I'm trying to think of something easy what do y'all want for dinner that doesn't take a long time to make because we're not gonna be home till like four o'clock probably so we are not having McDonald's again. So, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what sounds good. I can't think of anything. I don't know. Angus Boy's lip looks a little better this morning. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just not going away because he's constantly chomping on his big rubber football thing and he's like squishing it over and over and so the swelling is not going to go away. But yeah, it's not getting any worse. If it does get worse, we'll take him to the vet. Which is probably going to be really expensive. But yeah. Help me think of something to make for dinner. <laughs> I wish you could. I wish this was real time right now. But we'll think of something and figure it out. So I think for my lunch, well, it's 10 o'clock, but I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast, so why can't I open this? So here's the roast or beef chunks or whatever you want to call it in gravy that we have left over. I'm going to heat up some of this, and then I'll save the mashed potatoes for Adam. I have some leftover rice that I made the other night. So I'm thinking I'll warm some rice 
and this up, and then I'm going to make an egg to go with it, or two maybe, and just have that for my breakfast lunch thing. Oh, and the other night, it was the middle of the night, well, it was like 8 o'clock, almost 9, I think, and suddenly I wanted to make wacky cake. So Adam's mom used to make this chocolate cake, and we don't have the recipe for it, don't know where it went, so I have seen this recipe forever for wacky cake. It's a Great Depression recipe, and it looks really good, and so I wanted to try to make that because it kind of looks like the cake she made. So we thought we would try it and see how it was, and it was really good. So I'm going to show you how we made that, and then we'll come back to today. So this is Wacky Cake. It's a Great Depression recipe. I actually found this one in a cookbook from B. Dylan Hollis. He makes recipes on like TikTok and Facebook and stuff, and he's funny. He always cracks me up, but I'll try to find the link to his from his book to link down below but I'm sure there's other recipes just like this one out there. The weird thing about this is you could make it right in the pan. Next time I'll probably make it in the mixer just because it would make less mess, but this was supposed to be the easy part about it because in the depression you were kind of short on everything, so why not just make it in one pan and pop it in the oven? So into the baking dish that's not greased, I don't know how this doesn't stick, you just add in your flour, your sugar, your cocoa powder, salt, and baking soda, then you just mix these all together until they're pretty well combined. And then you're going to make three wells in the dry ingredients to add your wet ingredients, which are vanilla, white vinegar, and veggie oil. That's all that is to this. Oh, and water. But it says to make the wells to add the ingredients separately. I don't know why that matters. I'm sure it doesn't because it also says you can mix this in a bowl if you want to make it in a metal pan. So... I just did it like it said because it sounded like fun and I wanted to make it the way the recipe was so I tried it and it worked out just fine. So once you have your vanilla and oil and vinegar in there, you're going to add in your water and then just mix this all up until it's smooth. This did make a little bit of a mess. Of course, it was also after 8 o'clock at night and I was tired and just making a mess all over the kitchen, but it was fun. Next time I'll make it in a bowl for sure, but you just mix this all up and bake it according to the directions and you have a super delicious cake. The icing for this is super simple too. It's just powdered sugar, cocoa powder, and water. Easy. The only thing I had to buy to make this cake was vinegar. Everything else I already had, and I guess that's why this recipe became popular, because you probably have all of the ingredients in your pantry.
So we were a little bit skeptical. We didn't know how this was gonna turn out, but I figured I had everything to make it anyway, so why not try it? This turned out delicious. I'm not even a big fan of chocolate cake and I thought this was fantastic. So mine did stick a tiny bit around the edges, but that's where I kind of made a mess and didn't wipe it up before I baked it. You know what I mean? The little crusties on the edge. But if you mix this before and just poured it in the pan, the bottom didn't stick at all. So I assume the sides wouldn't either if you didn't make a mess like I did, but yeah. This cake was not dry. I'm not gonna use the word everybody hates. It was delicious and the icing was really good and I'm usually not a fan of powdered sugar icing. But anyway, yeah. If you have these ingredients in your pantry, give this one a try. Super quick, super simple, cheap to make, and it's delicious. So, we are done with our little park meetup, and the boys had fun. It was a good time. Um, Adam ended up coming with us, and the mom that organized it and another mom ended up showing up. I don't know if somebody else ended up coming later. We didn't stay the whole time because it was hot and all that stuff. So, now I am at Walmart because we need something fast for dinner. We have stuff to make SOS at home, so I'm going to grab some salad, and I need, like, shampoo and stuff, so... I'm just gonna grab a couple things real quick, real quick, run home, make dinner. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Hey, Tuck. <laughs> so I just grabbed a couple things. Stop it. At Walmart. <laughs> to make salad. I got some iceberg. I had to get the organic, more expensive one because the other ones looked rotten and disgusting. I knew I should have just gone to H-E-B, but I wanted shampoo and the cereal. So... I got some radishes for salad. I got some more carrots. I didn't know if we had any left. I was going to get the matchstick ones, but then I was like, what will we do with a whole bag of matchstick carrots? Yeah, and then the boys might light themselves on fire. Funny. Onion. Tucker has been begging for this cereal for like two weeks, ever since the first time he saw it. So I since got that for last him. Halloween. Bread for Your SOS. Horses. Then I was completely out of shampoo and body wash. I used the last of it, so got some more of that. And they didn't have the small bottles, but Adam just uses this one too. So we'll just put the big bottles in there and we won't run out anytime soon. So we're making SOS for dinner. And growing up, I think my dad always just used ground beef. I don't know. Adam's mom always made it with this. So this is what we were making it with. But the trick is you have to rinse this off and don't use powdered sugar. Yeah. <laughs> we made this one time and Adam used powdered sugar instead of flour on accident. When I was what, 20? Like 21. It was funny. Anyway, rinse the dried beef and then to make it easy, we're not even making gravy. We just bought some.
so today was a really good day. The boys had so much fun playing with some friends today. And we just had a simple dinner, sat around and watched America's Got Talent, of all things, on like Paramount or whatever it's on. But yeah, we had a good day and just sat and relaxed after dinner. And now the boys are in bed and I'm gonna sit and read my book I've been reading. And sweet old Crosby's gonna sit with me. And he took a boy, huh? And he took a boy. Sweet old man. But yeah, I started reading this book last night, The Push by Ashley Audrey. It's a little much. It's kind of weird. But it's good so far. I read her other book, um, The Whispers, and that one was kind of messed up too. She seems to write a lot of books about motherhood and the not so great sides of it, I guess. But yeah. So I'm going to try to get through this. I read some last night. I'm like halfway through. Hopefully I can finish it tonight because I just want to see what happens. But yeah. Garrett's watching a movie. I think he's watching Pokemon or something. Tucker's watching a movie. They're about to go to bed. So I'm going to sit and enjoy my book and cuddle with Crosby. And the other dogs, they all find a spot. Molly's over there. <laughs> Angus is taking over all the pillows. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming along with us today. And we will see you guys in the next one.